All right. Whoa. I'm on a little bit of a hill here. All right, C-Day classes. These are the answers to all of your questions. Now, C-Day is a huge day. I have classes nonstop and most students are in all of those classes. So there's quite a few questions. So I'm gonna actually whip through these as fast as I can. And just like if this was in class, with the exception of a couple of these that caught my eye walking out here, these are all these questions I'll be seeing for the first time right now as I read them, here we go. When did Capstone first come to Wallingford Public Schools? Capstone first came three and a half years ago. So this is my third and a half year teaching it. Uh, what's the key to making a really tall kiva plank tower? The key is to use the more expensive kiva planks. That's tip number one, maple instead of pine. The other one is if you're putting them straight up and down, put them at an angle, not to put them totally, uh, what would that be? Perpendicular to one another or flat to one another or, you know, like that. Um, what kind of animals do you have and how many animals do you have? Uh, right now we just have some goats. Um, we do piglets and pigs in the fall and the winter, but we don't breed them. Uh, I only have a dog living inside right now and lots and lots and lots and lots of fish. Uh, when you were young, did you break any bones and how did you break them? Oh man, no, I have never broken a bone in my life. I have fractured a gazillion, but I've never broken any. Um, I have fractured one wrist, I have fractured the other wrist. Uh, I was in a bus accident where it flipped over, a school bus accident, and I fractured a wrist that way. I fractured a wrist playing rugby. Um, let's just stop at those two. Uh, if you can eat only one food for the rest of your life, I'm a big smoothie fan. So is drinking food? A legal answer to that question, I would drink smoothies for the rest of my life. Uh, when is my birthday? It's in two days. Oh, well you have to know what day today is. It's March 27th today, so it's Sunday, March 29th. Uh, what sport would you play in your free time and why? Um, I would play rugby. Uh, absolutely. And then another thing that's considered a sport, but a lot of people don't think of it as a sport, is uh, I'd love to be a Formula One driver, race car driver. Um, are you and Miss Gerga besties? No, I barely know Miss Gerga. She is like at the extreme farthest end of the school from me and I am locked in my basement little classroom for most of the time. So I barely ever get to talk to Miss Gerga. As a matter of fact, doing these challenges is the most I have ever gone back and forth with Miss Gerga in my entire life at DAG. Uh, in class, you said you like Formula One, which is a, a race, uh, car racing. Uh, what's your favorite team and why? I don't know if I really have a favorite team. Um, I'm, I'm a sucker for uh, always rooting for Williams, you know, kind of like the underdog. Um, big Max Verstappen fan, um, and I'm, I'm gonna be watching Red Bull this season, see if they can take down Mercedes, if they ever get racing again. Uh, do I have any siblings? I have a younger sister. If you had to trade your, trade your life with any TV show or movie character, then who would you want to be? I don't know. I have no idea what the answer to that question would be. Uh, what job would you have picked if you didn't pick teaching? I actually had this job for a very short little amount of time uh, after I got out of college, and that would be a backpacking mountain guide. So like taking people out to the middle of the wilderness, up to big huge mountains for weeks at a time, in the middle of nowhere, that would be my job. Uh, if you, what's the creepiest looking animal that I've ever seen? The creepiest looking animal that I've ever seen. I don't know what the creepiest looking animal is that I've ever seen. I saw this really big newt once. It was like purple and yellow spots. I don't remember what exactly the name is, but it was like huge. It was like that big. So whatever that was called, that was probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Uh, why do you want to become a teacher? Um, I grew up working at summer camps and uh, I loved working with the students and loved doing all that hands-on sort of active stuff and uh, it just kind of naturally progressed to being a teacher. I guess that was like where it first started. Um, on a scale to one to ten, what's your favorite color of the alphabet? Probably zebras. Uh, how old were you the first time that you flew by yourself? I was in eighth grade, so what's that? 
12 or 13 years old and I flew to see my aunt in Florida. Um, how many animals? I answered that one. Are you secretly spy hippo? Do we have capstone next year? I don't see it on my schedule for next year. I'm assuming maybe that's an eighth grader that's asking that question. And no, you would not have it as a freshman uh, in high school. If you are a sixth or seventh grader, you definitely have it as a seventh or eighth grader. Um, what's your favorite basketball team in college and NBA and why? I am not a basketball fan anymore. I used to be a big, huge uh, Boston Celtics fan, go to the Boston Garden all the time. And then some, kind of, some things happened in my life that made me lose interest in pro sports. And a couple of big things happened that really made me lose interest in college sports. I won't get into them here, but uh, some really just things that opened my eyes and said, what the heck? Anyway, let's just stop it right there. Uh, what's your favorite type of music? Heavy metal music. Uh, what's your favorite subject in school? Um, I was originally a biology major, and so that is, I think, always my first love, but I was a social studies teacher forever, so that's history, social studies. I don't know, you can, and really, I think a lot of it, it's not about your favorite subject, it's who your favorite teacher is, and I think especially in middle school, it has a lot more to do with the teacher, and do you enjoy being with that teacher than the actual subject, because I think any great teacher can make any subject amazing. Um, what have you been doing from your, during your break from school? So far, it hasn't been a break. I'm thinking next week things might let up and be a little bit more relaxing. But at this point, uh, what's it been? It's been uh, one, two, it's been seven days. I've actually spent more time working on school stuff in the last seven days than if we were actually in school. Uh, but I'm assuming things will kind of even out next week. So I haven't really been doing any much extra free time stuff because there's actually been less free time so far, at least for me. Um, do you have TikTok and what is your account? No, it's made by the... Do you know anything about the history of TikTok and why it was created and what it's doing and how it's tracking you and taking all of your information and being sent to a certain government? No, I don't have it. Uh, what's your scariest phobia? I, I hate to say this, but like, I, I don't really know of anything that I'm like definitely afraid of, like as a phobia. There are definitely things I'm afraid of, but they're not necessarily phobias. And so I don't know what my phobia would be. I don't know. I don't know what my phobia would be. All right, the last set of questions, here we go. Uh, why do we have to build a ladder? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I don't know why you think you need to build a ladder. Oh, unless somebody asked me on the classroom, they have an idea about building a ladder, but that's just their idea. That's not the class idea. That was just their capstone idea. So no, you don't have to build a ladder. Uh, what's your favorite color? Plaid. Uh, if you had a pet, <laughs> if you had a pet, what three questions would you ask it? Okay, so I do have a pet. The first question would be, first question would be, I don't know, I'm not much of a talker. I guess the first question would be, hey bud, you wanna go on a hike? The second question would be, why is the only thing you ever wanna do in the entire world is go on a car ride? And the third question is, what's up with putting your face out the window on the car? Aren't you afraid of bugs going in your eyes? Uh, next question. Oh no, this is a hard question. What accomplishment are you most proud of? That is a really hard one. I think the accomplishment would be when I was a social studies teacher and it's not an individual accomplishment, but I just think it's, it was the things that myself and the kids did in the social studies classroom that were so unique in the entire world. 
You know, we were the we were a very uh, we did a lot with technology, and we were the first in the world to do so many things. And my kids really laid it out to the world on how technology can be used. And there's still classrooms across the world that are still copying a lot of the things that we did. So I'm really proud of the groundwork that my class did in laying down how to use technology. Uh, in Wallingford, we were the first one-to-one -one classroom. We were the first class to have websites. Every one of my kids had a website. Every kid had a blog, YouTube channels, all that sort of stuff. So that's, I'm most proud of that period in my life when we really set the tone for how technology can be integrated into a classroom and not just as a substitute for pencil and paper and quizzes and tests and all that stuff. Um, if you were about to get into a fight, what song would you pick as your soundtrack? Tell you what, I have the thought in my head, but I was also thinking of using that song for an upcoming teacher challenge. So when you, when you see the, the teacher challenge that involves singing, that would be my song. Uh, when is the project due? It's due the week after April vacation. Uh, what's my favorite place to hike? Anywhere in Wyoming and Montana, up high in the mountains. Um, what is your best joke? I don't even have to think about this one. Why did the toilet paper not cross the road? <laughs> because it was stuck in the crack. But um bumped. Almost done. Uh, can you do a music? Yes. Uh, what's the most embarrassing, uh, did I already answer? What's the most embarrassing moment? I don't know what my most embarrassing moment is. I just, I cannot think, oh, I got it. I was giving a talk once at this business conference and right when I was about to start, like literally the first sentence was coming out of my mouth, I went to grab my water bottle because I had left it on the front table. And these tables in this room were long tables going across the room where everybody was sitting. And when I went to grab my water bottle, I wasn't really looking because I was also starting off and talking. I accidentally hit it and knocked it over and the water went through over everybody in the front row, their papers, their stuff, their laps, their everything. And that's how that talk started off. Almost done. Well, how are you feeling about social distancing? I don't have any feelings about it. Uh, so far, so good. Um, um, I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'm not lonely. And uh, I'm okay with people keeping a little bit of distance between one another so that we don't spread this thing. Uh, when will we, how will we present our projects, live or on video? Uh, definitely not live. Oh, actually, I mean, it could be live over like video, but it probably will not be live in the classroom. Once we get closer to the due date in, the, uh, in April, I'm gonna lay out a bunch of options. Everything from you sending me recordings to you, we do a Google Meet and you can present it live. I'm gonna set up some times for the classrooms so that the, the uh, different groups can get together with multiple kids if they wanna share it, or you can just send me some detailed pictures or a slideshow. So I'll lay that all out as we get closer. All right, sorry, that was a lot of minutes because it was a lot of questions, but uh, hopefully you heard the answer to your question in there. And um, I will see you when I see you. Sixth graders, nice meeting you again. Uh, seventh and eighth graders, if you have any questions, make sure you please email me. If anybody has a question, please email. It's a lot easier than doing anything on the Google exit form. Thanks, bye-bye.